back to the pergola issue. I think I've made a decision. I think we're going to go with a shade sail. Just because, like my wife said, we don't really want to make it permanent wooden structure there. And then, yeah, and then just not be happy with it. And once it's there, it's there, really, isn't it? And then you've got to maintain that wood, so. I think shade sail is the way to go. So the plan of action, she's away for, it's Wednesday now, she's away till Friday. So I ordered all the kit this morning. Most of it should be here tomorrow. So the plan is to get a four by four post in there, a four by four post the other side of there, in that back corner, and then, One by there, and one by there. And then have a three meter by three meter shade sail. So it should come out to about here. Because the sun comes up there and just goes all the way over all day. In the summer, it's unbearable. So, at least if it comes out till here, it's giving it a good, good shade. And then I can just take it down if I don't want it, or in the winter. Um, then by having that post there and that post there, it gives me. I want some of those festoon lighting. So it gives me some options to to put some festoon lighting up. Um, and it also gives me. We've spoken about having a shade sail in this area as well. In this area to shade the patio and the sun coming in through the through the doors, so it also gives me another an option to have a you know triangular shaped one here, or gives me loads of options. So the only thing is, I thought about that quite a lot. This idea, but I was really put off by digging holes in the ground. <laughs> Would have been much easier to fix some posts to here. To have a pergola, but ah, uh, just gotta dig some holes. Dog will help me, surely. Um, the ground is rock hard, yeah. Gotta dig all the foundations for this by hand. Oh, it killed me. There's about four inches of topsoil, and then it's just rocks. It's really hard work to keep uh, moisture on the lawn. It goes yellow quick, just because there's so much rock. So, it's, you know. So close to the surface. So I think I'm going to dig down 600 mil, two foot. There, 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 and yes, under that holly tree again. Be the death of me, that holly tree. Right, I'll crack on and get back to you. Just like that. Four holes. One. Two. Look at the rocks in there. Oh my god. Three hours on the Kango. I didn't even get a shovel. Three hours on the Kango, breaking my way through. Managed to get them all. All uh, two foot though, 600 mil. That one in there. Fighting the old holly bush again. Right, that's it. Posts and stuff should come tomorrow. Move it away. Move boy. That's <laughs> <Head> boy. <laughs> oh, the fish are out. <laughs> my friend Dan coming over tomorrow I've ordered a kit for the Kahaku treatment kit can't quite remember what one I ordered now it comes with like a little bottle of sedate 
treatment something else and uh, I've had to go and get a sock net struggling to find a pan net and a bowl but I'm going past the shop tomorrow hopefully I have got a net but a pan net would be better and then I'm gonna get my microscope out later as well so hopefully treat him and do a couple of scrapes just for the sake of it knowing me there'll be something in there flukes guarantee it <laughs> I haven't seen any flicking or flashing but it's just my luck that is yeah cool I can get one more view of that that nah, obviously you're going to turn around Big Phil, hey boy. <laughs> got a little bit on that side, I'm gonna do that and treat that as well. Come on, turn around, let's see those scales. There we go. Can you see them? There they are. Fingers crossed for him, we can sort him out. He'd be a very happy man if uh, we could fix him up. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's a good picture of this camera. Right, enough of that. We'll get back to you tomorrow. Try and get on with these posts. Post turn up today. Just give me my coat of black bitumen paint. It's the part that goes on the floor. Hopefully, protect it. For a good time. coat tonight, coat tomorrow morning I think, and then hopefully we get them in the ground tomorrow night. I think one coat would do it, but I may as well do two. The tin will only sit in the, in the shed otherwise. Probably never use it. Not for a long time. So first of all I strapped two levels to the post uh, just to save me having to faffle about with levels because this uh, post creep goes off really quick. You've got a minute to get it level before you, you can't move the post. So I strapped the two levels to it, drop it in the hole. The hole needs filling up a third of the way with water it says. For one pack. I'm going to use one and a half packs just so bit more concrete at the bottom so I'm just gonna fill it up to just under halfway drop the post screen in level it off sprinkle a bit more water on the top easy
the water, you know, the ground's pretty porous here, so some of the water disperses on the ground. Just got to keep filling it until it's third of the way up the hole. It stops dispersing and fills up a third of the way. Not very long, you can feel it getting up already. We hold it for about a minute, it should support itself. Blue circle post creep. Sets, sets in five to ten minutes. Do not use an ambient temperatures below plus three degrees. Blah blah blah, pretty straightforward. Oh, it's gonna do it. As quick as that, it's pretty easy, really, isn't it? That's the second one. I had a practice run on that one before I videoed it. <laughs> Cheating. I gave these another lick of coat late last night, so I didn't have to go up this morning to do it. But you don't want to get this black stuff on your hands, it's bitumen paint. Cool, I'll get back to you when I've done the other two. Maybe the easy two I got. Fight the old holly tree again. That one should be alright. I've got the four posts in. And it's uh, just turning dusk now, so set my little laser level up just to mark each post with a pen. So to tomorrow. When it's light and I've got the cleats, I've got a mark so I can measure up to screw the, screw the cleats in full level or not level, but at least I'll have them the same. If that makes sense. In the day, my that laser level doesn't work. Oh, yeah, got to mark that one as well. So the shade sale was a disaster. 
hated it. Pulled those two posts out. The strings going across, didn't like it. The sail didn't fit in the right place. The posts at the back of the pond needed to be a bit further into my neighbour's garden for the shade to sit in the right place. So, pulled them out, we're moving on. What I've done here is I drilled a 12 mil hole down 200 mil. I cut some 12 mil um, threaded rod at 400 mil, so that's 200 mil down. So that means it should go two courses of rocks and then 200 mil up into the post. Piled a load of adhesive down that hole, drove this down, and then on the bottom of these, marked the centre, drilled up there with another 12 mil bit here to 200 mil, which is marked on there. And I'll just chuck a load more adhesive in there, drop it on. Yeah. Once I've dropped that onto the threaded rod, I'm just using this square, set square off the front edge of the pond just to square it up. I did use a string line on this, so it should be fairly square. If it isn't, it won't be very far out. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, I'm trying to see now as I look back. Yeah. Let's get the last one in. Yeah. <coughs> Got the the top part on. It wasn't the easiest, it was a bit difficult getting it all square and everything level but all those posts plumb but managed it. Managed it without falling in or falling into my neighbour's garden. <laughs> Got a load of a load of five by twos now. I just gotta work out some nice spacing across the top, get them all notched and drop them on. Yeah, looking good, happy so far. What do you think, boy? What do you think? Rough. <laughs> So I wasn't happy with the shade sail. Didn't look great. So I can go these posts out. It's quite annoyed, but there we are. The strings going from there across were horrible. The shade didn't fit over nicely. Didn't give it the shade in the right place. So, boof. Got the old pergola. That. Well happy with that. I think I just need to trim these ends with a nice trim. I haven't decided yet, so I've just left it like that. Pretty stoked. I was skeptical about using these rods in here, but it is solid. Solid as anything. The boys treated this kahaku once. It seemed to get a little bit better, a little bit. So I'm gonna get him out again and do it again.
But yeah, I'm sure they'll be happy for a bit of shade. Might cover the top of something at some point. I'm happy with that bit of progress. Yeah, the shade didn't work. So I had a post in this corner buried in the ground and one by there. But realistically, for the shade to be in the right place, that post needed to be in my neighbour's garden about a metre and out that way. Same in that corner. Just for the shade, the sail to fit in the right place. <laughs> and the strings that came across here to those posts, oh, I hated it. Yeah, so, looking good. Gives me a few more options now. I put some jump guards on the sides. Something across the front. And I can remove this net cover. It's quite unsightly. It's not really unsightly, but obviously be better without it. It does obstruct your view a little bit. Yeah. I might even do something on that back wall, like a flower wall or something. I've done some little filter mods as well, I might do a separate video for that. The filter's working really well now, thanks to all the suggestions on my previous video. Come up with a pretty good idea. Yeah, it's looking good, really happy. Right, if you like my videos, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the tick, get notified when I update next. Have a great day guys.